chapter 3 audit function and internal control we are looking at the internal check internal check they are control which ensure that the work of one person is independently proved by that of another person its aim is to minimize the risk of fraud and error by creating procedure for the prompt detection and prevention of such fraud and error may looking at the internal check we look at the main objective of internal check we all know that the main objective of internal check is to minimize the risk of fraud and error by creating procedure for the prompt detection and prevention of such fraud and error e.g. having two signatory for checks or segregating the preparation and payment of wages opening of mail by person independently of the cash department so the so the main that is the main objective of internal check we will move on to internal auditing or internal review we are talking about internal auditing and the internal review internal auditing internal auditing can be defined as an independent independent appraiser in the present appraisal ab activity within an organization within an organization within an organization for the review for the review of operation review of operation as a service to management internal audit auditing can be defined as an independent appraiser activities within an organization for the review of operation as a service to management it is a management control which function by measuring and evaluating the effectiveness of other control the internal audit is thus an internal review an appraisal of policies plans procedure activities and record of the organization by specially assigned staff called internal auditor the internal audit serves to ensure that the organization internal control system is operating satisfactorily the internal audit is a review of operation within a business by special assigned staff it is fundamental that the internal audit function are carried out by special assigned staff who form a separate department and are completely independent of the person whose work is subjected to review establishment of internal auditing internal audit involve a periodic review of the accounting and internal control system as well as the result of operation in order to one report on the efficiency and effectiveness of the internal control and accounting system and to suggest improvement where necessary two to report on result of operation variation from plans and the reason thereof the internal audit function is delegated to employee who have this as their sole responsibility the employee known as internal auditor and the constituting the internal audit department 
are not allowed to carry out other duties in the organization that could result in conflicting interests and consequently which could impair their independence which is a most desirable quality for their role so that is internal audit so let's move to factors that determine the scope and objective of internal audit the so many factors that determine the scope and objective of internal audit. Let's look at the number one, the management. The management. The management. Since the internal audit is part of the management tools for control, their scope and objective are within the ambition or habit of the need of the management that set up that department. The second one is the size, the size and the nature, the size and the nature of the enterprise, of the enterprise. The third one is the skill, the skills and the experience, the skills and experience of the internal, of the internal auditor and the, the fourth one is, is the size of the internal audit staff so those are the factors that determine the scope and objective of internal audit let's move to internal auditor rules and scope of work the basic function of the internal audit is to carry out schedule so carry out schedule audit. Procedure in respect of the transaction of the enterprise and verification of procedure in respect of its assets and liability and to ensure that the internal control system of the enterprise is operating satisfactorily. The main function of internal auditorial include 1. Review Review of of the accounting view of the accounting accounting system in the company the second one is the review of the internal control internal control system internal control system towards ensuring compliance ensuring compliance the third one is the testing testing of transaction Testing of transaction, testing of transaction and balance in the account of the company of the company for accuracy for accuracy accuracy and correctness the fourth one is the review of operational performance review of operational performance operational performance and the reporting on variance 
the fifth one is conduct conduct of special investigation we also have additional one of review of business environment to highlight threats and opportunities i will can also add provide it provide consultancy advice and training on internal control matters and the next one we have ensuring that the organization policies are fulfilled and you can also have the last one which is ensuring that the organization assets are safe guided those are the function of internal auditor so let's move to the method and procedure of carrying out internal audit function method and procedure of carrying out internal audit function the first one is operational operational audit first one is operational audit the second one is functional audit the third one is organization organizational audit the fourth one is company audit the fifth one is special or ad hoc audit as we have the sixth which is management audit so those are the method and procedure of carrying out internal audit work so let's quickly expatiate in one after the other operational audit this involves the audit of a specific set of operation within a department such as cash audit eg cash audit so the second one, which is functional audit you may look at the, this entail auditing a specific function in organization eg says ordering says ordering The other one is organization audit. Organization audit. The organizational audit is trying to point out an audit of the organization set up which is concerned with the efficiency of the organization. The company audit is talking about an audit of a company within a group of company. If the audit is working in a large organization, if the audit is working in a large organization, special or ad hoc audit. This occurs when an auditor is assigned to carry out a special assignment such as investigation. The management audit. This is an inquiry into the adversary or adversability of any of the policy of the director in furthering the objective of the company as defined in the memorandum and or into the efficiency with which they are securing the execution of those policy it is an appraiser of organizational structure and policy to ensure efficient management it is also known as operation audit or efficiency audit also known as aka also 